guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have a guest star. This is my youngest daughter, Autumn, who just turned how old? Five. Yesterday. Well, we're filming it the day after her birthday, but you won't see it for a few days after we film it. Either way, she has been begging me for so long to be on my channel <laughs> and feature herself. Um, and I figured what better day to do that than with my favorites video. So we are going to dive right in and talk about what I've been loving currently while I've been taking a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so we have all of my favorites for currently, I guess I can't say this month because these have been going on for a couple months now. Um, so I just kind of collected everything I've been using a lot. Go ahead and show them the bag. So we have everything in this really pretty sparkly bag that Autumn is in love with. Okay, give me the first thing. We'll talk about it. Oh, a good one. This, you guys, I know this is like so late to the, you know, party, I guess. This palette has been out for a really long time. It was just kind of nagging me in the back of my head. So I did end up ordering it and oh my gosh, you guys, I had no idea that Colored Rain made such incredible eyeshadows. So this is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the outer sleeve, which I save. I usually don't, but this one's gorgeous. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. It has that soft touch, kind of like the NARS um, packaging to it. So when you open it up, it looks like this. It's super reflective, so I'm sorry. Anyway, the tones in it are very similar to like modern Renaissance, but they're different. So I don't mind having both. <laughs> I am actually wearing this palette on my eyes today. The burgundy color is this one right here <laughs> called Noble Woman. Um, I also have a couple of the mattes in my crease and smudge under my lash line. You guys, I, I'm just gonna have to swatch it. I can't show you otherwise. So I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, the pigmentation of these is insane. This is the one I'm actually wearing all over my lid right here, this burgundy shade. And another one that's absolutely gorgeous is the one above it, which is gold and it's called Your Majesty. I mean, yeah, Your Majesty. I would call you daddy for that. You guys, look, look how smooth and buttery. I cannot speak any more highly of Colored Rain Shadows. They have become one of my favorite shadow formulas ever. And if you have not checked out this palette, I highly, highly recommend it. Ah, another good one. Well, they're all good. They're my favorites, duh. Um, this I talked about in my Sephora haul that I did right around Christmas time, and you can already see how much I've used. I love this. I have actually already purchased the big Mac Daddy size of this almost immediately after I tried this because I loved it that much, and I knew I could never be without it. This is by the brand Cinema Secrets, and this is their what is it actually called? Professional grade makeup brush cleaner. What I love about this is when you do dramatic makeup as much as I do, colorful makeup, you often want to use the same brushes, but you have bright blue on it when you want to use an orange. So you have to constantly be cleaning your brushes and deep cleaning your brushes every single day will not only increase the wear and tear, it's just not time efficient either. So what I love about this is you can literally just take and dip your brush, just the tip of it in here, swirl it onto like a microfiber cloth or a paper towel, and it not only instantly cleans your brush completely, it also dries instantly. It's fantastic for working makeup artists as well because it does allow you to switch between colors very very quickly and disinfect your brushes almost instantly so definitely definitely will never leave my collection and I've been absolutely loving it lately this next product is also on my eyes today I don't think you guys will be able to see them very very well but you can see them well enough um, this is obviously a fresh pair I'm wearing the exact same pair on my eyes and this is a set of lashes by Lily lashes these are in the style Houston so this is what they look like now they do look incredibly dramatic and they are I mean like I said I'm wearing them on my eyes so you can see they do give a lot of that like cat eye flick shape to the eye but they're not so overpowering where you can't see the shadow underneath but I really like the way they look for a very glam or you know high intensity look. Most of the Lily Lashes that I own are in like the 30-ish dollar range. These ones are only $11, you guys. $11. That's cheaper than House of Lashes. Absolutely beautiful. The bands on these are a little bit on the thick side, so it is a little bit of a learning curve if you're used to more drugstore lashes with thinner bands. This next product is not only a favorite of me, but it's also a favorite of Little Baby Autumn here. <laughs> this is by Laneige, another product that I talked about in that Sephora haul that I did. I'll link it down below so you guys can kind of refer back and see what my first impressions were or whatever. Um, but this is by Laneige, like I said. This is the lip sleeping mask in the original flavor. So this one is like a watermelon tile watermelon style scent um, and the quality you guys of this mask is amazing this is one of the most hydrating lip products I have ever tried I don't typically wear this during the day unless I'm staying home 
<laughs> unless I'm staying home and I don't need anything on my lips. Um, but I do love to use this overnight and you don't need much at all. Would you like some? So this is basically just a beautiful lip balm slash lip mask. I do put it on me at night and I sleep in it. And by the next morning, literally my lips still have some remnants of it on there, but it's not sticky. It's not greasy. It's not uncomfortable. She loves it. All the kids love it. Um, it's just a fantastic product and it's not expensive for what you get. This next product is actually kind of newer to me. I am again wearing it today on my face. Not that you can see a lot of it, um, but I have been just super, super dry lately, overly dry. Skin is just rough, like alligator patches, horrible. And my best friend, Courtney K here on YouTube, I know you guys know who she is because I talk about her like every other day. Um, but she was talking about this on her channel and she really liked it. I really like it. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in the dewy style. This is definitely one of the more dewy primers that I've ever tried and I'm not opposed to that. I love having that glowy, dewy skin, especially because I am I'm so dry now. I used to be oily, but now that I'm dry, I'm craving when I used to be oily. What I really like about this is how thin and lightweight it is, but it still gives you a real good punch of glow. So I did swatch it on the back of my hand. It does have like that radiance factor of a little bit of a like highlighter glow, like Becca Backlight Priming Filter. But what I like about this even more is it has a very, very um, like hydrated look to it. It's not just a glow. It's actually more of a like wettish, hydrated look. So it just makes your skin look dewy. <laughs> Again, definite thumbs up. Check it out. It's available at like every drugstore that sells Wet n Wild. I bought this when it first released, like early access right away, immediately in the cart to my hands. I had it before there were even most YouTube tutorials or anything up on it. Um, and I used it for a while, loved it, put it back in my drawer and forgot about it. Like, how do you forget something that's so beautiful? This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter. I am so glad they brought this back because so many of you wanted it and it sold out really quickly and they brought it back. Thank God, because this highlighter, if you guys love a good, really skin-like, but definitely heightened highlighter, this is such a good one. It has my favorite formula of highlighter, which is like that baked gelée kind of wet looking highlighter. It's not a powdery highlighter, but you guys look, oh my gosh, I will swatch this for you because it's gorgeous. Um, it is what's on my cheeks today as well. It's, it's such a versatile highlighter. It's the perfect shade that it matches like every single skin tone. You can be the fairest of fair. You can be the deepest of deep and this color will look perfect on you. The other thing that I really, really like about it is again, how lightweight and thin it is. It looks very, very wet, but also if you don't pile it on, you get a very subtle glow, but if you do add more to it, you can see on me, I don't do subtle. Subtle doesn't exist on my channel. It just amps it up so perfectly. I could, I could literally, literally bathe in this highlighter. It's so pretty. I mean, there is nothing like it. So, I mean, like I said, if you blend it out really well, you do get more of a subtle glow, but if you put it on like I do, let's be real here, um, it really can be amped up a lot. And mm, it's yummy. Okay, I toyed with the idea of talking about this. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. You guys, again, probably are no strangers if you've been following me for a while, but I don't like to not tell you what I'm loving even if you can't get it. Because for all I know, you guys might have it and it's sitting in the back of your drawer just waiting for a reason for you to pull it out. So this is so grungy. I'm gonna apologize in advance, you guys. This is so nasty because I do use it all the time. This is by Clinique. Now this is called the Moisture Surge <laughs> CC Cream Compact in the color light. They do not make this anymore. I use this as a color corrector because my skin is very neutral toned and this is really, really peachy. Um, so I tend to use this under my eyes or on my face to spot conceal certain blemishes that are a little bit darker. It's a cream, but what I like about it is it doesn't crease. It's not a like, stays creamy kind of cream. It does dry down to almost a powder finish and it never creases on me. <laughs> She's so strange. She's definitely my daughter. Do I think you need to go onto these apps and search this out because nothing else exists like it? No, but I also haven't found anything else yet that replaces this either. This is another drugstore product. Apparently I've been really liking the drugstore side of things the past couple months. And I really just wanted to warm up my face because I look white when I go out in the snow. As it is, I'm pale enough, but add in the white hair, the white face, and no bronzer. I was dying for some bronziness. And I thought this matched really, really well. This is the e.l.f. blush in the shade Marvelous Mauve. This is like a $3 blush, you guys, and it's gorgeous. So 
This actually reminds me a lot of the formula of the Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, Bare something uh, blushes that they have, the round pans. So it gives this really beautiful peachy, mauve -y, bronzy kind of flush to the cheeks. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. I really, really like it. I love the formula of it. It blends beautifully. It's not too much. Is it the longest lasting blush? No. I mean, it's not going to last till, you know, 10 o'clock tonight. It'll probably wear off. But either way, I just love how natural and flushed it looks. And it really goes well and blends well with bronze. So definitely been loving on this guy for the past couple weeks. Okay, this next product I'm not wearing on my lips today only because I'm wearing my Project Pan lipstick and like 50 shades of other things because I just can't pick a lipstick to save my life. This one I have been wearing a lot recently though. I've been into like as I say this with huge glam eyes. I've actually been into more natural looks lately and more of like a peachy nude lip. So this one I pulled out to go with that and I fell in love with it all over again. This next product is a lipstick by Dose of Colors. I love this formula, I really do. It's not my favorite formula, but I do really like it. I feel like these are super, super comfortable. I know that my friend Samantha March also really likes this formula and she talks about them all the time. Um, the one I have here is in the shade Bear With Me. Now, when I first received this in the mail, I thought I wasn't gonna like it because it's very warm toned. It's like a warm peachy nude and that's not typically what I go for. I go for more of a cooler mauve nude-ish color. I don't know what it is. I just love this shade and it goes really well with a lot of makeup looks. It's very versatile with more like neutral to warmer tone looks and that's typically what I tend to wear more than anything else. So I really like this formula. I really like the packaging of these. I think they're very elegant and sleek but I really also like this color. So definitely going to be wearing this a lot more come spring as well. And again, this next product is on my face. Um, this is a new purchase for me, new purchase for me. I've had it for a couple weeks. Um, and I've seen this going around on YouTube all over the place. Everybody seems to be raving about it and I can see why. This is the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. A couple like huge selling points for me, oh big yawns, are number one, it's in a pump. Thank you L'Oreal. Thank you L'Oreal. This is not only a pump, it is a very nice, good quality pump. Huge fan. The second thing that I love about this is the shade range, can I get an amen? Not only do they have a ton of shades, they also cater to like every possible undertone you could even imagine. I found four or five shades that could have matched me, but this one is identical. It is so identical that I don't even have to blend this down my neck, which is, I mean, it's not a big deal to most people, but like, that's awesome to me. So I'm in the shade 405. Like I said, it is an identical, perfect match for me. The only negative I would say about this for me specifically is it is scented. And I'm not a huge fan of foundation having like a perfumey scent but I will say that this one's tolerable because it is a light scent it's not like the Huda Beauty which is just poof in your face perfume this one's just lightly scented which I think just covers up the scent of foundation if you're not into like that makeup -y paint type of smell so I mean it's not horrible it's a decent fragrance it's just a little odd for me when I'm putting it on and I smell like perfume but either way this foundation is I wouldn't call it matte matte and I wouldn't call it dewy I would say it's more of a natural satin finish very nice very super lightweight it is liquidy so it does blend beautifully it doesn't settle in my fine lines a beautiful medium to full coverage with not a lot of product I like this a lot I'm going to continue using it but I don't think my opinion is going to change on it I've used it probably four or five times now and every time my makeup has come out just perfect Let's for no leaf <laughs> Last but not least, I get a lot of questions about my hair, what I use to style it, what I use to clean it, all kinds of things. So I did want to start bringing in a little bit more of hair stuff for you guys that I love. Um, and this one has been a favorite of mine for a while and it's really, really good for those of you who want to have a good hold on your hair, but you want to have flexibility without like the heavy weightiness of hairspray. This is by the brand OGX, and this is the Flexible and Beeswax Texture Spray. It's basically a spray wax. Now, at first that sounds very, very like, oh God, wax in my hair, ew. This has a very malleable, lightweight, feathery texture when you use it in your hair. Um, it does not weigh your hair down. It doesn't clump it together or anything like that. I love the fact that it's in a spray as well because most traditional waxes are very messy. They get all over your hands. You have a residue all over the place. This is just in a beautiful spray. Pardon Autumn, she has uh, a really nasty cold and she sounds like a tuberculosis ward. It's terrible, um, but she's fine. <laughs> so this is what the spray looks like. So it's very similar to a hairspray, but if you can see the mist on it, it's just so light. 
Um, it has a beautiful fragrance too. It's not like kick you in the face alcohol fragrance at all. It's got a very, very light scent of like a sandalwood-ish. Um, it just basically smells like clean hair. Um, like I said, you don't need a lot of this because it's very, very lightweight and the mist is so fine. But what I really like about it is the hold. It does not hold your hair in place. So I mean, if you have curls going and you want to hold those curls, lock them in, this isn't your product. But for those of you who like the, you know, the beachy waves, or even if you scrunch up a little bit, you just want some volume and texture to your hair. This is really, really nice to use. Um, it is synthetic safe. So if you guys do wear extensions, it's not going to harm them at all. Like I said, it does not weigh things down. It's just a nice product. Um, it's not overly expensive. It's $7. So if you guys are somebody who doesn't like hairspray, but you still would like a touchable soft hold to your hair, I would definitely, definitely give this a try. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and thank you for being patient with me with my littlest one featured here in my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed Give me a thumbs up just for the fact that Autumn was brave enough to come on camera. Give her a thumbs up and her birthday was yesterday. She'll love seeing all mommy's thumbs ups. Also leave me a comment down below wishing Autumn a happy birthday so I can read them off to her. I think she would absolutely love having my subscribers wishing her a happy birthday. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye guys!